credit to these guys uh, for buying in. But, you know, when we put this together, you know, we just feel like it's the right way to play the game. Um, it's not, you know, something that's unique or special by any means, um, but it's the way the game should be played and trying to play the game as purely as you can. Uh, and that's what the guys have bought into, um, playing agendaless basketball. Uh, and, and that's when, you know, you see the results of the chemistry, the camaraderie, and all those things. All we're preaching is play the game the right way, right? And, and that's what, you know, successful teams do. Um, and, again, I, I have to give them credit because they bought into the idea. Um, you know, obviously, we spend a ton of time in practice on drills, uh, figuring out the right reads, um, you know, in order to prepare them for the game. But as you know, uh, Chris, you know, things change when the lights come on for some people. Um, so our guys have done a great job of translating what's happened in practice and the drills that we've broken down um, to the court. And when you play that way and everybody feels like they're a part of it and everyone's more willing to do it. And I think that's what we're seeing the fruits of now. JB Bickerstaff, you had them figured a three and out, didn't you, bud? Uh, yeah, right. In preseason, I did. Yeah, three and zero in preseason. No, oh, these, you know, I think these, I think these are regular games. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, what What struck me less is that when that season ended the way it did last year for them. I remember you and I talking about it, and and I understand what the uh, NBA was doing, having to think quick on its feet about how to put together a, a, a remainder of a season. But I think the Cavs had been playing pretty well leading up to the to the stoppage of play, and I think they really resented that not being part of of the rest of the season. And I understand the reasons. Again, I'm not I'm not arguing that the NBA screwed up. But that was a team that was starting to play better, and and with a lot of young players, it would have benefited from from having the uh, the uh, a season, you know, trying to make a playoff. Well, when you when you look at this team here, and I'm oh, not I'm not sure that it. it's, I'm not sure you know, that if people an agenda this year. many people would understand know who they were, but it almost seems like this they have a 25 man roster. Every time you turn around, yeah. there's another group of players coming in off the bench. And it's kind yeah, of fun right. because they're battling for the same positions, and it's good to see it's head-to-head -head competition, and, and they want to win some uh, basketball games. Yeah, they, they're going into a game now against the Knicks, I think, tomorrow night with, with uh, some injured players, including Kevin Love, um, Del Vadova, uh, a couple of other guys that have been a big part of what they've done so far. So. It's a long season, but it's uh, I think promising to see what they what they've done and and they have a lot of there's a lot of athletic ability on that team and and they play hard. It's it's fun to watch.